Alright, let's first start off by talking about the obvious good points of this game. This game has the best, seriously, probably the absolute best graphics I've ever seen on a Nintendo DS. It's everything very clear, very smooth. All the models look excellent. All the backgrounds look great. It's true that the DS may tend to pixelate a little bit, but you can tell that the models themselves are great, and everything has been polished very well. So you can see all of the models look similar to the Dragon Quest VIII PS2 counterparts. And all the animations are nice and smooth and the graphics are just great. I definitely give this a 10 in the graphics department. Now let's move on and talk about audio. The sound in this game is also awesome. Well, there's even a couple of songs in here that are my favorite in the Dragon Quest Monsters series. And they're here with nice sounding remixes. I mean, honestly, just listen to this. I really love this song. And then there's the usual Dragon Quest Monsters songs such as this one with classic sound effects that you come to expect. Like that sound there. Bloop. So, overall the music is pretty good. I mean, it's not orchestrated or anything, but it's what you would expect from a DS game. Overall, I definitely like the music it also gets a 10. Now gameplay is a little bit complicated because you capture monsters and you fuse monsters that's at its core and that part's not the least bit hard to figure out but depending on your choices you end up with with a better monster or a worse monster so, like I said, that's the, the key mechanic of the gameplay, is to do monster fusions. But throughout the games, that are, there are little things you can do. You know, the usual pick up treasure chests, uh, talk to... Well, in this game, there are no hardly any people to talk to, so you're going to be talking to monsters. But still, you talk to monsters, and you do the quest and all that, so... The gameplay is just what you've also what you've come to expect. But I really like it. And it has a little bit to do with the story as well, the gameplay. Because like I mentioned, there's hardly any people in this game. Most of the characters you're going to be talking to are going to be monsters. Imagine something like Pokémon. Now take out the evil villain syndicate like Team Rocket. Then take out the random villagers. And you end up with with something that seems a little lacking at first. But then imagine if every new situation you get... I'm sorry. Imagine if each thing that was taken away and feels lacking, they add something new gameplay-wise. Or they add new monsters, new abilities, new spells. Everything gets added. That's what I, that's what I think about this particular game. So, all in all, I think the story is kind of boring. It's just like your plane crashed, you're looking for some people. It's really no more complicated than that. And you, of course, are trying to win with all the, the big tournament going on. And then gameplay-wise is just collecting and fusing and beating more powerful monsters. But there's infinite replayability because each an individual, each monster itself is its own individual. 
You're not going to get clones of other monsters. It's pretty fun that way. Also, occasionally you'll get things such as weather effects to come in that changes the monsters that show up on the field. Like this frog face doesn't normally show up, but when it rains it shows up. So the more they take away, the more they add. So basically I'm going to give the story a 5. The story is not very great. But gameplay gets another 10. With infinite replayability, that makes it even more fun. I'm going to definitely give this game 9.5 slimes out of 10. It's darn near perfect, and if you have a Nintendo DS or 3DS, definitely pick this game up. You won't be let down if you're a fan of the series or of monster collecting in general.